is your catalogue cover star item, ladies and gentlemen. For obvious reasons, this is not going to be carried around the room. <laughs> Even though this young gentleman is very strong, as you can see, this is a highly substantial masterpiece. It's actually a part of a series I've been working on sort of since I left Penland in the residency. When I came here, I was working primarily as a blacksmith doing hot work, forging. But as the scale started to grow, I started to develop machinery that would allow me to move the metal around uh, cold. In the past, I've approached it more like an engineer or an architect might, where I've planned the piece. It's very mathematical and involves a lot of geometry, and I would create patterns, and it would, it would get very involved. All the work happened on the front end, and, the, and then the actual making of it, it was just work, you know, it was, it was already created. So in part of developing this series was coming up with a system to begin with where I had sort of components that I could work with. Then I could treat it as these sort of semi-random elements and then get to a place where it couldn't really be drawn. Let's see, $15,000. Who's got 50? There we go. And 16,000 is there against me. To be around the work, you get a sense of the energy that's gone into it and, it, and it's holding. You know, there's a, there's a great deal of actual tension that's in the metal, you know, that if you, if you were to cut it apart, it would really, you know, there's, there's literally uh, energy in that metal. 22,000 now, 24,000, 24,000 the part of Kansas I grew up, there's no middle ground. The horizon line is so vast that you can literally see the curve of the earth. It's like being on the ocean. It's either all of this, as far as your eyes can see, hundreds of miles away, or, or you're looking at some tiny little blade of grass. The work is still primarily informed by growing up out there. 26,000, 28,000. I think Penland has a way of finding you. Uh, I was actually demonstrating at a a blacksmithing conference out in California and met a fellow named Rick Smith. He was a resident slash coordinator here at that time. And he said, you know, you should come to Penland and teach. That is the first time I taught. So it was the first time I actually tried to explain to someone else what my passion was about. I met my wife here. The residency was huge. Because I didn't study formally and did sort of more of an apprenticeship, all the work I did always had to also feed me. It was always work. To suddenly have three years where the focus was working through your ideas and uh, the necessity to make money was minimal. In a, in a sense, it was like grad school for me. Pendle does and will always have, I think, a very important role in my life. At thirty four, it's with David's bidder at thirty four thousand dollars. Are you all done and last chance and fair warning at $34,000, we're going to sell it, sold! <laughs> well, that was a truly memorable moment, so thank you so much, Hoss, and of course the winning bid was sensational. For my adult life, anyway, Penland is like home.